here we are. Welcome to episode nine. Um, yeah, things escalated again. Uh, did a lot of work off camera. Uh, basically, that was more because of the fact that you couldn't actually see anything while I was working. Uh, the amount of dust and dirt flying off this thing was horrific. We got the quarter panel off. Um, that's only just because I wanted to make a little uh, repair panel for in here um, and also around the lower B post. So it's a lot easier just to take it out. It was only, what was it? Eight screws, eight screws and about 10 pop rivets. Um, we still haven't left the lights collect, connected there, so nothing major. Um, yeah, so here we go. Let me grab the torch actually. Made quite a lot of progress here, as you can see. Need to uh, stand that up for a sec. Oh, Bruno, go out the way, go on. Need to grind this down a little bit and just tidy this area up here. This is where the uh, seal panel mounts to here, it mounts to here, and it bolts through here. Um, so we need to do that. Cut out some of the gearbox tunnel. That's gone now, as you can see. And that is down here. So we've got that just to make a nice new template. But it actually makes it a lot easier to uh, replace this box section I found, not having the entire gearbox tunnel in. I'll save that reinforcing part there. But yeah, so as you can see, it's uh, starting to get there now. All I've got to do really so far is uh, just repair the section in here. So we've got to make a couple of lips. Let me just hold that torch there. So we've got to make a lip for this bit and this bit here. And then make a repair panel, which will cover this whole section here. Once I've done that, uh, I think I'll actually put that panel in last because putting in the sill panel, um, I mean, it allows me to weld across here, it allows me to weld uh, down here, and it allows me to weld all in here, and then the closing panel can go over that at the end. Um, I also need to make a small panel here. There should be a little half moon shaped panel here. Um, I believe, actually I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right there. Then what we need to do on this side before we go any further is cut out this section. So this inner A pillar, this one needs to come out. Uh, and once that's, I'm not, I'm only going to cut out the A pillar. I'm not going to chop too much more into it because I don't want to take too much more of the structure out of the car. Uh, once I've done that, it means that I can then weld the sill panel to this section here, which will uh, then mean that I basically have a square. The whole car is, it's got all the sides now attached in all the points that it should be attached. So I can then start hacking at the A pillar and the floor. That's the reason I've gone round it this way. Um, because if I started repairing this and then this and it wasn't really connected down here, it just makes a lot more sense just to get the whole floor section done here. Then I can start chopping around all over here and chop out that A pillar there. Um, and also I can remove this at that point as well. And it's going to be a nightmare to get in there with an angle grinder. But yeah, so we've made a lot of progress. What I'll do now, I'm not going to film, uh, too much about making the panels or anything along those lines. What I'll do is I'll come back once. I've got all the panels uh, made and all the panels lined up um, and tack welded where they're going to go. And then we'll just do sort of like a welding montage of it all going back together again. But yeah, I've uh, already just rested the sill in there to see how it fits. And all of the holes that you want to line up are all lining up correctly. So I'm confident it's going to go in fine. But as I say, that A pillar is going to be the, that's the one that I'm really worried about tackling because that's a, a big old job that one but it's nothing we can't deal with so uh, we'll just persevere and uh, see where it takes us here we go so we are now at a really good position so the sill panel and the inner sill panel they're all uh, just in place at the moment nothing's finalized here um, it's back to its rigid state now so we've removed the uh, strengthening bar there um, and it's really good as soon as we pulled it off there nothing moved at all um, there was no sprung weight there, which is very, very reassuring. Um, also, I did make a couple of measurements as well from various points before we cut the seal panel up here to here, because that's a very solid piece. And also, um, it was around on the front there, and we got the exact same measurements in height on the body to the chassis. So nothing's moved there, which is really good. Um, yeah, so it's all just in rough at the moment. Just put a couple of little tack welds on. Nothing major at all. Um, we've got the new inner one. Let me see if I can get under there and show you the other one. The inner one. Obviously, it's all just in there at the moment, just roughly. 
There we go. Oh, yep, and I uh, stone chipped all the chassis that we could uh, see. So yeah, so as you can see, it's all in just clamped together at the moment. Nothing's, uh, nothing's um, in permanently, which is good, but it all lined up really well. Uh, all the bolt holes lined up, which is nice. We've got, uh, let's have a look. So what we've got to do now um, is going to be to uh, support the body because we are going to take the um, inner sill panel out again and the body mount, which isn't too hard. So say it's only got a couple of mole grips holding it on and then obviously just the uh, the two body mounts and, then, uh, and one up the front through there. And uh, what that means we can do then is we can uh, drill all the holes that we want to all the way along here so that we can spot weld the inner and the outer together. And then we'll do the same as well. We'll spot weld the inner and the outer together through the top. Um, I think we'll just drill, I'm trying to work out the best route to go about that. Probably drill, we'll probably drill all of the outer sill panel uh, because the inner ones are a lot thicker steel. So it'd be nicer to weld the thin to the thick instead of the thick to the thin, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we'll have to make a repair panel for this section here, which isn't gonna to be too hard again. Um, I'm gonna do that in two pieces. So we'll make one that comes down to here. Sorry, I'm gonna make two little lips, one for this one and one for this one. Probably tack weld those together while they're like that, just give it an extra bit of rigidity. And then we'll make a panel here. And then we'll make a closing panel here. Then we've got a small panel to make here and uh, a small panel that goes here. Has obviously now revealed that we've got more rust to deal with at the back. We were expecting that. So next thing you'll see is a time lapse of this all being welded together. Right, so we've got a partially welded in sill panel now. Um, this is as far as I'm gonna be able to get in this episode. Um, we will continue it in the next one. But yeah, as you can see, you can probably see from these welds along here, she's been welded from the underside. Um, got this one here, nice long seam weld. I know they're meant to be spot welded, but I just seam welded it because maybe I'm lazy, I don't know. Um, I've also just uh, welded this one, I just get, ground that back. I'm just gonna fill those little gaps in. I've got to make a little panel for this side here before I weld that. Just welded in there as well. I'm not sure if that's actually meant to be welded because it wasn't welded originally. Welded these two tabs, this little square here, and then underneath, here we go. There you go, as you can see the body mount's welded in. Um, and I'm pretty sure these are meant to be spot welded, but I've just done sort of, you know, one to two inch um seams running the length of it <laughs> I, mean, I might decide to seam the rest of it i'm not sure yet i think that's more than adequate um yep and then that side's all welded in as well so what i'm going to do tonight just before i go i'm just going to put a little bit of uh primer up there and a little bit of stone chip and then i can bolt the um body mount back in because we've only got half of it in at the moment and uh yeah also i did before i put this panel on here uh, the inner sill, I did paint the inside of the outer sill panel. So it's all painted on both sides of this um, and this. So it's not gonna have any future rust problems, but there you go. I must say I'm pretty impressed with the uh, the R-Tech welder. It's done, oh, there we go. I mean, they're not the neatest of welds there because I hate welding upside down, but 
yeah, it's done some pretty good worlds. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm still setting it up and it's a brand new world, so it'll get better once it's been used a bit. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the worlds have come out. Sorry, the... there we go. But yeah, that's as far as we've got today. Um, next time, it shouldn't take too long just to finish this off. As I say, we've just got to make this closing panel here, this little lip, weld it up there, make the gearbox tunnel. Um, then that's done. We've now got the A pillar, the inner A pillar, because uh, the one that they sent out was actually the wrong side. I don't know if I've already mentioned that, but I ordered the near side and they sent me an offside one. Um, they have just sent me the correct one, so I've got to send that one back to them. Um, but yeah, as I say, once we've welded this seal panel in and repaired this gearbox panel, then we can cut out, let's turn that back on, we can cut out all of this section here. It's so nice to be able to sit on this knowing it's in. Probably cut around here, all the way up to here, probably actually up to about here, down, and then we'll make a panel and we'll tack weld that one in. Then we'll cut this monstrosity out here. You can see it's had various interesting repairs, including this outer seal lip here. But uh, yeah, we can uh, we can do a better job than that. It does stop literally about there. It's fine up above there, which is fantastic. So we can uh, we don't have to really take the dash out of the scuttle panel. We can uh, slice it just below this bolt hole here, just across. Well, probably actually. Might even be a bit daring and slice it. But yeah, I think we'll slice it through the bolt hole. Then obviously the bolt will then clamp it down, which will add a bit more rigidity to it. Um, as I say, it can't be any worse than it is right now. So yeah, we are steaming along now, which is really good. I'm really happy with how it's all sort of coming along now. It looks so good when you look in there and you can see that it's got a nice solid seal panel. Funnily enough, this one, I did speak to Barry. This one's been replaced and he's actually replaced that driver's one as well. Um, and he sent me a picture of him replacing it back in the, I guess it must be late 80s, early 90s. Um, and I actually thought this was an original sill panel, how good it is. I mean, you'd think I'd just put that in, wouldn't you? But it's in absolutely fantastic condition. And he's done a really good job of it. So uh, no idea why the passenger one decided it was going dissolve, gonna to dissolve, but it has. Um, also, something else I was just going to mention to anybody that's just starting out doing any welding or anything buy one of these, these extractors, they're fantastic. Um, not a lot of money on uh, Amazon, and it really, really helps if you're doing any kind of angle grinding, if you're doing any kind of welding, and because it's pulling the air, it's not blowing the gas out when you're trying to weld, so it doesn't affect your welding, whereas if you're using like a fan, it will blow your gas away. But uh, yeah, I would really recommend investing in one of those. When you look at what's come out of it, I mean, you can see the color of the fans in there, that would have all been in your lungs, but when you look at the uh, back of that hose, or pipe even, whatever it is. It's uh, it's just full of particles of just general crap, which you really don't want to be breathing in. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, the next episode will be hopefully a little bit quicker than this one took to come out. And we will aim in the next episode to finish this entire side. So that'll be that panel, gearbox tunnel, footwell, A pillar. And I want that all done and in primer and back in uh, Tuscan blue paint. And then... We're going to paint the new inner wing and bolt that on. And then that's it, basically. That's the whole front end done. Nothing else needs doing on the front end for welding-wise. And then we've just got the spare wheel weld to deal with. Oh, I got the tailgate open, actually, before I forget. That was interesting. Um, never been able to open that, which is why this massive dog crate's still in the back of it, because it wouldn't fit out any other way apart from the tailgate. Um, and basically, this latch up here had... Uh, disintegrated so what i had to do is i just got a hammer and a chisel and just beat it until this catch popped but uh yeah i'm pretty happy actually when you get to look in here see how clean it is i mean it's not bad at all is it really i mean this spare wheel well she's a bit crusty it's probably just replaced that they're not expensive but uh the rest of it like you know the goalposts and that they're uh oh they've been replaced haven't they yeah he did replace those barry put a new set in there so that's probably why they're in half decent condition but as you can see the tailgate is met a bit of a rusty end but we've got a nice couple of them to choose from but uh yeah she's um she's pretty good to be fair um and a lot of that's all nice original paint too but yeah anyway there we go that's the end of that one thanks for watching guys and uh i'll put another one out in a week or so